Now, we are worshippers. And God wants in this season to use worshippers. Because when you serve God without being a worshipper, you demand, you, 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 you depend on rewards. Today, what is, is a shame is this man of God. Today, people they are invited to preach somewhere and they ask them how much am I going to get from it. Today, we have worshippers who demand on money to come and serve in the house. I'm not against that. But that should be a result. And it should not be something that you impose. Because we are worshippers. We do things because of how we are and not based on the one we are serving or rewards he's going to give us. And today, what happened in the book of, of, of John is taking place in the same house where it's supposed to be a place to pray for all nations. A place to worship have become a place of tears where people exchange money. When you go to work from Monday to Friday, you deserve a salary. But it is not the reason why when you come to serve God, you deserve God to give you something. Uh, no, we uh, don't serve God. Let me tell you why. Because everything God would have given, already gave it. God can give you beyond Jesus Christ. Jesus was the best and the best. And you know, in Jesus, there is everything you desire. Yes. And Jesus is not something we will receive. Is someone we have received. And God today wants worshippers. I heard in the in the in the roads of the city. I want worshippers. Where are worshippers? And the Lord told me told me to tell you. It is time for the revival of true worshippers. You know why we need revival of worshippers Idolatry have reached a highest level. Today, in all the roads, and I'm talking about the churches, in all the roads, in all the churches, you can sense the jealousy of God. A true worshipper. A true worshipper is allergic to idols. A worshipper only have one person. I mean, in fact, a worshipper does not have two priorities. He doesn't have three priorities. He only have one priority. Because that one priority is the Alpha and the Omega when he appeared to the worshipper John he said I'm the Alpha and the Omega I'm the beginning and I'm the end it means I'm enough a worshipper knows that in this world he only has one person but today, we have made God to collide with other stuff, with other things. I'm coming here to tell you there is a revival that is going to start tonight of true worshippers. People who are going to stand 